Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we can be doing another object competition video guys but before we get into today's competition like always we need to go over the results of last week's competition which was the Kepler 442B competition so looking at the results here it looked like it was quite close actually so we can see a lot of people got two votes but the winner with three votes was Siren. Um, and yeah, this was close. A lot of people had two votes, so a lot, pretty much every single person was joint second place. So yeah, Siren took the win with that one little cheeky extra vote. So yeah, without further ado, yeah, massive congrats to uh, him. And yeah, this was his object here. So as we can see, it's a very cloudy variant there. And yeah, looking good. So yeah, that we'll see that object in the size comparison this year. And that'll be coming out... Yeah, coming out um, the week after next week, actually. So we've only got one more competition after this week before those objects are actually used in the size comparison. So yeah, that'd be, uh, that'd be pretty awesome. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, with that all said and done, guys, a massive thank you to everyone who participated in last week's competition. And yeah, without further ado, let's move on to today's competition. Okay, everyone. So on to today's competition now. We are doing Trappist 1E. So an object that a lot of you are probably quite familiar with. Obviously, I've done videos on the Trappist system before. So yeah, one of the many exoplanets around that little red dwarf star. But without further ado, let's get into what you guys have prepared for us for today. So let's give it a nice search up. Trappist. Right. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see what we got here. So uh, there we are. Right. Cool. Right. So the first object we've got here is by 3RROR. So let's see if they put any description. Okay, so they went with a more optimistic scenario. It's tidally locked with a night side in a deep freeze. The surface islands are a deep red due to the large amount of vegetation. Okay. Right. So let's place it in. Okay, there it is. Obviously, we need to pause it. Okay, right. So let's see what we have got here. So here it is. So we need to see uh, what... Is this the frozen side? Okay, so there we go. So that's the frozen side. So this side should, in theory, be in the dark. This is the side that we need in the light. Right, cool. Right, so he also said that the apparently it's actually an error. I just like numbers. Okay. Right, so he said, yeah, he got the deep red colours for the vegetation. Obviously, it's got the ocean. And then the nighttime side is in a deep freeze. So, yeah, really, really cool looking. So, obviously, if we look behind it, it's all frozen up. And obviously, the area that's in the daytime, which would, in its normal tidal lock state, this area would all be uh, liquid water. So, yeah, there is their uh, Trappist 1E. E. So, yeah, that's looking good. I'm liking it. Obviously, tidy locked effect. We'll probably see that as a trend for today. So, yeah, let's see what you guys have prepared for us next. So, right, okay. So, normally we have to keep searching up, but okay, whatever. Right, so next up, we got one from Chensich. So, let's see what they've got for us. Let's place it there. Okay, ooh, right. I see some uh, impact marks, almost like volcanoes. Okay, so what did Chensich say? Uh, a tidy locked planet with an atmosphere to keep the cold side have a little bit of cold lakes. On the day side, however, it has it is hot with an enormous lake. The planet is quite active and has volcanoes scattered all over its surface. So he's taken a bit of inspiration from Space Engine to have these effects. So there's your volcano action. Oh, yeah, right. So he said the big lake is the daytime side. So I'm guessing... Yeah, okay, so this is definitely the night side. You can see there's more frozen up little lakes. And also the daytime side has got the big lake, which is this area here. So, yeah, looking good. So, yeah, again, another tidally locked world up there. So, looking good. And I do like the impact marks representing volcanoes. That is cool. So, yeah, what do you guys think of that? It's looking good. I really, really dig that. So, there are the volcanoes. Yeah, looking very cool indeed. Right. Next up, we have got... Really annoying we have to keep searching this up, but... Okay. Right, so next up, we've got exiled Neptunians ones. Let's see what they've got for us here. Okay, right, so did they put anything with their description? Okay, no, they didn't put anything. Okay, so here's their object. Right, so as we can see, again, tidy locked. So everyone seems to have gone with the trend and jumped on that trend. So as we can see, tidy locked on the nighttime side. And obviously in the day side, we are also running with an ocean. So let's uh, just get it rotated correctly. So somewhere like that. Okay. So we can see ocean. If we have a little look underneath the clouds as well. So there you go. So the ocean, the rest of it's all frozen up. Looking good. So there's Exiled Neptunia's one. Okie dokie. Right, next up we have got... Oh man, it's so annoying having to keep typing this out. So, Trappist. Okay, so next up we have got Pluto Neon's version. Okay, so let's see what they've got for us here. Ooh, okay. So here's Pluto Neon's. So he put in his description... Uh, I can't get the dark-sized waters to freeze over, even if I tidy lock it to its parent star... 
Um, and the magic cold laser only works on land, not water. Unless you fix that, uh, then it must be left as is. Also, make sure the giant scrappy looking red lake in the northern hemisphere is facing the audience. Okay, so where's that red lake? It's looking good. So we can see, again, also going with that. So is it tightly locked? No, it doesn't look like he's gone with the tightly locked trend. But he did say, for instance, obviously, um, that's rubbish because he said that he can't get it to freeze. So he did try tightly locking it, but it didn't work. So yeah, it's just uh, it's just rubbish that you can't really get it to uh, work, unfortunately. Darn game. That's very, very annoying. And yeah, just, just so rubbish that the game does that to us, isn't it? So, right. But speaking of not rubbish, this is a good looking world. I really do like that red effect on it. So he said, uh, get the red lake to face us. So, I mean, it's all red all over, but I'm guessing it's this area here. This area here looks like the biggest chunk of red lake. I mean, obviously it's got a lot of water on it overall, but I think the biggest water in the northern area is definitely this bit here. So this area should be frozen, and then obviously this bit in the front is obviously um, the bit that should be at the front. So yeah, there is his version from Pluto Neon there. Yeah, so, so, so rubbish that the game uh, likes to do that to us and doesn't let us uh, save it how we want it and all that. So there's that one. Right, uh, next up we have got um, Scarario. I hope I'm saying your name right. So let's place it there, see what they've got for us. Ooh, okay, so they've gone with a... Very, very green version. Definitely the standout out of the pack so far. So Trappist-1E. Okay, so do they put any description for theirs? My planet is a cold titan-like. Okay. Right. Let's have a little look under here as well. So we can see very, very green. There, that's what it looks like underneath. Cool. So, yes, yeah, definitely a standout of the pack, isn't it? I mean, if you look at them all from a distance, that one definitely stands out the most with its green. So there is that one. And then I think lastly, we have got one object from Siren. So let's see what he's got for us. So Trappist. So that is his one here. So Trappist 1E, Siren. Okay. Ooh, here we go. So he's used the Storm Clouds by looks bit. And also going with a um, more of a standout colored object. I think his one and then this one here. They're definitely the two standouts color wise. So there is Siren's version. So as we can see, did he put any description for his? Let's see here. Uh, no, he didn't put any description. So here it is. Look underneath it. There you go. Doesn't look like he's gone with the tidy locked effect, actually. So it looks like the first uh, the first four are tidy locked. And then these two uh, have uh, swided away from that. So there they are there. I do like the yellow atmosphere on it, I have to say. It is quite nice and unique. And also it's got the clouds going on it as well. So... There is his version of Trappist 1E. So overall, very nice lineup of objects here. I really do like the different variations and everyone's different sort of interpretation of it. I find that really cool. So now going over them all once more. So the first object we had here, again, we'll quickly go through them all um, like we always do. So uh, Trappist. So the first object was 3ROR's version, which was here. Obviously, that one was tightly locked. Then we had Chen Sitch's one here, which was the one with the volcanoes. Oh. So there's that one. Next up was Exiled Neptunians, which is the, um, the third one there. Then we had Pluto Neons, which was the fourth. Then the fifth one, we had um, Scario. Hope I'm saying your name right. And then lastly, um, in sixth, we had Siren. So yeah, that is our full lineup of objects, guys. So yeah, good luck to everyone in the competition. Also, if you'd like to take part in the voting process, guys, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description where you can uh, upload your objects there. Um, and then, yeah, take part in the uh, next competition, which will be the final competition before the size comparison 2021. So that's the last chance to get an object in that video if you want to uh, try for it. So obviously you need to, the winning objects will be used in the size comparison, guys. So yeah, good luck to everyone. And yeah, I look forward to actually making that video and including everyone's objects in there as well. So really, really cool stuff indeed. But with that all said and done, guys, a massive thank you for watching today's video. Again, a massive thank you to everyone who participated in this competition. And yeah, if that all said and done, guys, make sure you guys have, have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.